Hey everyone, it's Alan, W2AEW, making a rare appearance in front of the camera this time instead of behind it. I just want to give you a little bit of a status update as to my medical condition. A lot of folks have asked. I also take this time to uh, answer a lot of uh, frequently asked questions that I get and uh, also provide you just a, a little bit of well-deserved thanks. So let's get started. Now, regular viewers uh, know that I seriously broke my ankle earlier this year and uh, a lot of folks have asked uh, how I'm doing and have wished me well in comments of videos that I've done since then and just happy to report that uh, progress is moving along slowly but surely. I'm still hobbling around a bit but I am uh, being able to get around and drive and that kind of a thing again and obviously able to get down here into the, uh, the shop. So I thank you all for your well wishes and uh, I'm certainly glad to report that uh, things are moving along in a good direction there even though I'll be carrying around a small hardware store in my ankle for the uh, uh, foreseeable future <laughs> unless uh, the, the screws and a plate give me a problem in the future they're all just going to wind up staying there. Now, one of the really common questions and comments that I get on my videos is am I a teacher? And uh, no I'm not actually. Uh, I, I spent uh, about 25 years as a design engineer, test engineer, and application engineer and since 2006 I've been a field application engineer for Tektronix so in that role I do a lot of teaching and uh, you know tutorials and things like that and helping customers out uh, with using the equipment and applying equipment to solve their problems so I, I do have to do a lot of education but I'm not a, a teacher or professor by profession so uh, just just an engineer that uh, that likes to play with this stuff Another very common question I get is, do I maintain an index of all the videos that I've done to make it easier for you to find them? And the answer is I do. Um, a lot of you have found it, and I've told a lot of folks about it, but if you look at the, my main channel page, at the main channel graphic there, you'll find a link uh, right about where I'm pointing over here that says Video Index. This index was started by one of my viewers, uh, Dino KL0S. Uh, several years ago and I've picked it up and maintained it since then so a great resource uh, the indexes uh, li lists all the videos numerically and also lists them by topic and every video is hyperlinked so it makes it really easy to find the topic that you want click on it and watch that video a lot of folks have asked if I'd set up a patreon account and I haven't uh, I really didn't have any interest in creating any content that was you know paid for content I want everybody to have equal access to everything that I create so uh, still a lot of folks have uh, wondered how they could support me and you know the great comments you give me is support enough really but uh, some folks are insistent <laughs> so actually several months ago uh, I put a little PayPal link up on my channel uh, link is right in the corner of the graphic right there is a little P so if you're so inclined uh, you could certainly follow that link to support the channel but uh, and I thank those that have actually found it without me saying, saying anything about it at all uh, but uh, that's there just in case you're so inclined, but uh, I never expect anything financial from many of my viewers. I just want you to watch the videos and give me good comments, and that's, uh, you know, pay enough for me, that's for sure. Another question is, you know, do I take video requests? Well, uh, really, uh, most of the ideas that I have for videos come out of either requests that folks have made or comments that they've made to uh, videos that I've done or sometimes even interesting questions that I see posted on blogs like uh, EEV blog and things like that so so certainly I'm open to requests some of them you know will get addressed um, you know, very quickly because I find the topic very interesting and timely others might not really get addressed for quite some time because they don't have the facilities the capabilities you know that type of a thing to to get a particular topic done but I'm certainly open to requests uh, through you know uh, leaving comments directly on my channel Another question I get pretty often is uh, where can I get a copy of the notes that I use in the videos that I create? Now for most of them, especially uh, recently, uh, any of the notes that I create or use or show for, for a particular video, I'll scan and create a PDF file. And you'll find that if you look at the video, uh, there's always a kind of a, a, no, a description down below to talk about what the video is. And there's usually a show more button. And if you click on that, that will usually open up to uh, a place where there's more description about the video and any particular links that uh, might uh, go to a PDF file or other videos that I've referenced. So it's always a good idea to look in that video description because there'll be some uh, some good stuff in there including uh, links to PDF files for my notes. Now one question I've gotten a lot just over the last week is uh, you know since I work for Tektronix 
Have I gotten a hold of uh, one of the new 5 Series MSOs from Tektronix, and will I be doing videos on that? <laughs> so uh, the answer is, of course, I've, uh, I've got one here I've had for a couple of weeks. And I have done a few videos, but the videos that I created are actually on the Tektronix YouTube channel. So it's just a couple of them. Uh, if you want to see them, I will put links to them in the video description down below this video. So go take a look at those. And finally, I really just want to say thank you. I've got uh, over 67,000 subscribers to the channel now and uh, surpassed uh, 8 million video views right around uh, the beginning of the year. So that's pretty amazing for a little channel that, uh, that I create and videos that I create down here in my, my little basement shack, <laughs> so a basement lab. So I really appreciate it. Uh, all the comments uh, you know, really uh, kind of inspire me to keep going and continue doing this. And I wish I could keep up a cadence of doing, uh, you know, a few videos a month. But, you know, I do as many as I can. But I really do appreciate uh, all the support, uh, you know, both in comments and, uh, you know, getting thousands of views on my videos when I post them. It really means an awful lot to me. And I thank you for that. Again, always keep the good comments coming. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> and, uh, and tell me what you'd like to see more of. And I'll try to do the best to accommodate you. Thanks again. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.